Hello, teacher. Hello, Jessica. How are you? Bien, entré, pero me volví a salir porque como ayer me desconecté, dije, quizás no va a haber clase, dije. Ah, no, cómo no. Hoy es la última. Y este es el segundo intento porque me salí, dije yo, oh, entonces me iré a dormir, dije. No, <ríe> nos falta la última. Ah, ok. Mañana sí, descansa ya. Ah, bye. <ríe> Se va a acostar tempranito. Ok. How are you, Jessica? Fine. That's great. Okay, you're the Yes. only student right now. Where is everybody? Hmm? We need the platform, yeah, Have finalizado. you finished? Yes. Have you... Okay, that's excellent. Igual, el día de hoy vamos a cubrir el último tema, el que nos hace falta, y vamos a dar una especie como de retroalimentación sobre... Eh, los últimos ejercicios de la plataforma, específicamente el examen final, ¿verdad? En caso que alguien, digamos, hay algún ejercicio que no le haya quedado claro o en el que necesite ayuda, igual vamos a hacer un como, vamos a, digamos, eh, ver eso en detalle. Lo vamos a ver en detalle, como le digo, solamente en caso que alguien lo necesite. Ciro, just connected. Hello, Ciro, how are you? How are you, teacher? Okay, welcome to the final class. Okay. <laughs> All right, so thank you for being on time. I'm going to start sharing the screen with you now. So here we go. Okay. Can you see the screen, everybody? Yes. Well, my, my two students. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Um, welcome once again to this cor uh, course, I'm sorry, by Inglés Corporativo. This is Inglés Intermedio 3. Okay, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. It's Intermedio 3, session 16. Okay, and today is September 29th of 2022 or 2022, whichever you prefer. So let's begin. Everybody, here's what we're going to do today. Take a look. The lesson objective. By the end of this class, participants will learn and understand the use of real conditional with if clauses. Well, I think I got the wrong lesson objective. It's actually the use of uh, uh, past models. I'm sorry, forgot to change this, but let's take a look at this. It's the grammar focus. Um, this is what you will find in part 5.8, okay, which is uh, the video explained by Ms. Jessica. What are past models? Let's take a look. You will find this in the platform, right? You use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. So how does it work? For example, this person says, what should I have done? Okay, you should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it, okay? What would you have done? Well, you say, I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. Now, don't worry about this because we're going to go directly into some further explanation. Now, here's the thing, should have done. Before we begin, I have a question for you. Should is a modal auxiliary verb, okay? The question is, what do we use should form? Okay, should. Para que se utiliza should? Quiero ver quién sabe. What do we use should for? Como para un deseo, yo desearía o algo así. Mm, actually, no. It's, no. it's a little bit different, but thank you for participating. Rodrigo Daniel. Debería. Mm -hmm. You use should to give advice. That's the thing. Va a ocupar should para dar consejo. Okay? That's the use of should. But today we're going to study some past models, also called perfect models. So take a look at the picture. The girl shouldn't have spun around so many times. Spun is the past participle of the verb spin. And what is spin? Spin means dar vueltas, okay? That's the meaning of spin. So 
the girl shouldn't have spun around so many times. La chica no debió haber dado vueltas tantas veces. She fell to the ground. You see the picture, right? She's on the ground. No fue una buena idea hacer eso, ¿verdad? Her father told her not to do it. Su padre le dijo que no lo hiciera. She should have listened to him. Ella debió haberle escuchado o debería haberle escuchado. Okay, so that's how you use it. You should have done something. That means you didn't do it, but it would have been a good thing to do. Es algo que usted no hizo, pero habría sido bueno que lo hiciera. Okay, you should have done something. And you have two examples right here. The first one goes, you missed a great party last night. Te perdiste pero de un fiestón anoche. You should have come. Why didn't you? Hmm? Deberías haber venido con nosotros, ¿verdad? You should have come. Why didn't you? ¿Por qué no lo hiciste? So that's the thing. Entonces, si se fija en el ejemplo, le está dando una especie de consejo sobre algo que debería haber hecho. No lo hizo pero debería haberlo hecho. Habría sido una buena idea hacerlo. Ok. You should have come. Aquí pueden ver el patrón ya, ¿verdad? Se ocupa should, have, and then a verb in past participle. Y eso es todo. Should have and a verb in past participle. You should have come. Why didn't you? The second example goes, I wonder why they are so late. They should have been here long ago. Ellos deberían haber estado acá hace mucho. Before we continue, do you understand? Do you get the idea, the general idea? Yes. Okay. That's the general idea. Just remember, when you use the structure, you should have done something. That means you didn't do it but it would have been a good thing to do. Usted no lo hizo, pero habría sido bueno hacerlo. Por eso le dicen, you should have done something. Esto siempre lo podemos ocupar, por ejemplo, cuando nos arrepentimos de algo, una oportunidad que no tomamos, por ejemplo. Ok, o sea, me ofrecieron tal trabajo en tal lugar y yo no lo agarré. Ah, vale. Deb debía haberlo agarrado. So I should have taken it, right? Entonces uno mismo puede expresarlo. Para decir algo que usted no hizo, pero que habría sido bueno que lo hiciera. So, what about the negative form? Hmm? Shouldn't have done. It works the same. But look at this. You shouldn't have done something. That means you did it, but it wasn't a good thing to do. Ahora está hablando de algo que usted sí hizo. Pero que lo mejor habría sido que no lo hubiera hecho, ¿verdad? O sea, fue una mala idea. You did it, but it wasn't a good thing to do. Aquí es cuando usted se arrepiente de algo que hizo. Ah, la regamos ahí. Eso estuvo mal. No debía haberlo hecho. Ahí está. I shouldn't have done it. Ok. So, you have an example. Who can help me read this? Please, a volunteer. I'm feeling sick. Who wants to read the first example, please? Ciro. The first? Mm -hmm. This I'm one, feeling, right? Ah, I should, I, I shouldn't start eating so much. Uh-huh. You say, I'm feeling sick. Okay, I shouldn't have eaten so much. I ate a lot and now ugh, I feel sick. So I shouldn't have eaten so much. No debí haber comido tanto. Okay. Se arrepiente de lo que hizo. So I shouldn't have eaten so much. Thank you, Ciro. What about the second example? Please, I need a volunteer to read it. Okay, Sulma. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, you shouldn't have listened to our conversation. Our conversation. It was private. It was private. 
Tribal. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sulma. The person says, you shouldn't have listened to our conversation. It was private. Ah, no debiste haber escuchado nuestra conversación. Era privada. Right? So, you should mind your own business. Como vimos ayer, ¿verdad? So, you shouldn't have listened to our conversation. It was private. So, what is the structure of this, um, let's say, past model? You need to use a subject plus should or shouldn't. Then you need to use have. And then the main verb in past participle. Ahora, ¿qué sucede? Acuérdense que los models tienen dos reglas. Según hemos visto en clases anteriores. Lo vimos esto hace un par de semanas. Regla número uno. Los models son iguales. O sea, no tienen una forma especial para he, she o it. Decimos, I should, como dice he should. No le voy a poner una S nunca, ¿verdad? Porque es un model. A los models eso no se les hace. No tienen formas especiales con he, she or it. Esa es la regla número uno. Regla número dos, si se acuerdan, es que después de un model sigue un verbo en forma base. En este caso es have. Nunca le vaya a poner has porque estaría rompiendo la regla. ¿Ok? Así que dice, I should have known o he should have known. Puede decir, you shouldn't have done o she shouldn't have done. No hay ningún cambio. No hay cambio para he, she, it. Y el verbo que va después del model siempre va en forma base. Así que siempre va a ser have. Siempre, siempre, siempre. ¿Ok? Nunca me le vaya a poner has, por favor. Siempre es have. So again, you use a subject. Could be I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. Then you have to use should or shouldn't. If it's affirmative, you use should. If it's negative, you use shouldn't. After that, you have to use have. Always have. Never has. Okay? And then you need to use the main verb in past participle. Been, known done, etc. That's the structure. So what are we going to do right here? Take a look. We have the first exercise. This is your turn. Read the situations and write sentences with should have or shouldn't have. We're going to have an example. I'm feeling sick. I ate too much. ¿Por qué se siente mal? Porque comió mucho. Entonces, no debió comer tanto. What about the first one? Who has the answer? Sandra. Mm, I shouldn't have to eat so much. I shouldn't have eaten so much okay i shouldn't have eaten so much very good okay thank you so what are we going to do i'm going to form the breakout rooms now and uh, you will work with your classmates to do number two number three four five and six so we have 10 people how to divide this we're going to work in groups of three and one group of four okay yeah that's how we're going to do it or we can work in pairs. Now let's work in pairs. Probably it's better to work in pairs. So um, I'm going to form five groups now. In room number one, you have Rodrigo Daniel and Sulma Beatriz. Room two, Maritza Guadalupe and Rodrigo Antonio. Room three, Ciro Mira and Sandra Patricia. Room four, Maria Ayala and Nady Ivis. And in room five, Jessica Rosales and Rebecca Estefania. I'm going to form the groups. Please join them now. And uh, as usual, I'm going to go inside each of the groups and check on what you're doing. Let's begin. Everybody, please join the groups.
which I shouldn't have eaten so much. But... Entonces, en la dos dice que fueron al restaurante. Bueno, cuando fueron al restaurante, no habían mesas. Hicieron reservación. Entonces, sería we should, we should have reserved one, one table. Good. We should have reserved a table. Mm -hmm. Debimos haber reservado una mesa. We should have reserved a table. That's great. What about number three? Number three, three uh... Laura told me her address, but mm -hmm. I didn't write it down. Now I can't remember the house number. Seria, I should, mm -hmm. I should have write. Mm -hmm. at, at, What's uh, the past participle of write? Write. Um, wrote, wrote. Wrote is the past form. Mm. So the base form is right, the past form is wrote, and the past participle is? Writing. Pronunciation, written. Written. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So what's the sentence? Así como la llevaban, super bien, nada más el past participle, del que nos había fallado. I should have written 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 mm -hmm. her address. I should have written her address. Okay, that is correct. Very good. Okay, I'm going to go into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Okay. okay. Andres uh, but I did not are you in number three? Yes. Okay. Teacher, con esa tercera cree que nos puede ayudar. Claro eh, que porque, sí. Porque um okay. Laura told me her address. Me dio su dirección. Uh -huh. But I didn't write it down. Now, I can't remember the house number. ¿Qué debía haber hecho entonces? I should... I should... I should have... have wrote, wrote it down. Okay, wrote is the past form. The base form is write. The past form is wrote. And the past participle is... Writing. Written. Written. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es so, la the past participle. Written. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. So I should write. Writing. Ah, I should. Le falta una palabra ahí. I should have. I should have. I should have. Write it. Written. Written. It uh -huh. I should have written it down, or I should have written her address down. Okay, very good. Así quedaría. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I'm going to go into a different room. See you in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I Quiero ver tu buen don. Ajá, I should have a good don. Are you number three, four, five, or six? Four. four, four. Number four. four. Okay. 
I wasn't feeling well yesterday, but I went to work. That was a mistake. Now I feel worse. So what should I have done? Este, I, I shouldn't to have gone. Ah, cuidado, work. cuidado, cuidado. Después de shouldn't, no podemos ocupar tú. I shouldn't have gone. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have gone. Work. To work. Okay. To work. I shouldn't have gone to work. Mm -hmm. No debía haber ido a trabajar. I shouldn't have gone to work. That is correct. Very good. Okay, I'm going to go into a different room now. See you later. Okay. See you. I should. I should. Pero en negativo con el apóstrofe. I should. I should. I should. I should. I should. The pronunciation is shouldn't. Shouldn't. La L es muda, no se pronuncia. So shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I've gone to work today, Sería. Yesterday. Ah, yesterday. Uh huh. I go. Ah, sí, 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 yesterday. Mm -hmm. Correct. I shouldn't have gone to work yesterday. Okay, I great. To work yesterday. Uh, good, to good. Work yesterday. Okay, I'm going to visit a different room now. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello, ladies. Hello, teacher. Okay. Uh, which item are you solving right now? Number this, uh -huh. the six, but number six. We okay. Have a question with okay. Five. Okay. Bueno, solo voy a decir así en español porque uh -huh. no sé. Bueno, nosotros le habíamos puesto que podría ser. I should have driven into his car. Ah, pero no pero, estamos seguras sobre a quién pero, esa, pero esa es la cinco. Ajá, la Ajá. Más bien, vaya, si se fija, dice, I was driving. The driver in front stopped suddenly and I pff, drove into his car. It wasn't my fault. No fue culpa mía. En otras palabras, cuando usted diga lo que debería haberse hecho, no va a hablar de usted misma, sino que va a hablar del que tuvo la culpa. ¿Quién tuvo la culpa si se detuvo de un solo? El, Ajá. el otro conductor. El conductor, el que iba adelante, paró de un solo y ¡pum! le pegué yo atrás. Entonces, tendríamos que decir, I... the driver. Ah, the driver. Ajá, the driver. <coughs> Y en este caso, en tercera persona, el have cambiaría has. Mm -mm. No. Eh, Igual, have. Es, es la regla de los modos. El modal auxiliary, como should es un modal auxiliary, no tiene una forma especial para he, she, ni it. Es igual con todos los sujetos. Y el verbo que le sigue, que en el caso este es have, también se mantiene have. No cambia de ninguna forma. Entonces decimos. Sería the driver should have. Shouldn't es, have. Eh, stop. Stopped. No hubiera parado. Ajá, no debió stop. haber parado. The driver shouldn't have stopped suddenly. Stopped. Ajá. Mm. Así es. Paró de un solo y. Le pegamos. Dice. Entonces, the driver shouldn't have stopped suddenly. El conductor no debió haber parado de repentinamente. Él ocasionó el accidente. Ok. Yes. Yes. All right. We're going to check answers now. See you in a minute. See you. Okay, we're going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute.
30 seconds. Okay, so number two, let's see, who wants to participate? When we got to the restaurant, there were no tables. We hadn't reserved one. Mm -hmm. Volunteer, please. Vamos, así como lo estaban resolviendo en los grupos. Voluntarios, a volunteer, please. Sulma, thank you. Okay. We should have received uh, the table. We should have reserved a table. A, a table. A that table. is correct. Thank you, Sulma. We should have reserved the table. Debimos haber reservado una mesa. So, very good. Number three. Laura told me her address, but I didn't write it down. Now I can't remember the house number. What should I have done? Volunteer, please. Mm -hmm. Sandra. Uh, I should ha have written her address. Her, her address. Oh, can, can you repeat it, please? I should. Head writing her address. Okay. Okay, very good. Just the pronunciation. I should have written, should written. have written, uh -huh. should have written down Laura's address or simplemente her address. Written down. Mm -hmm. uh, Write written down, down nos indica como tomar apunte. Eso significa apuntar. Uh, Write down. So I should have written down Laura's address or I should have written down her address. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. Number four, I wasn't feeling well yesterday, but I went to work. That was a mistake. Now I feel worse. Que hice mal? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Lady, thank you. I surely going to work yesterday. Le faltó una palabra entre el I shouldn't y el gone. I, sh I shouldn't have gone to work yesterday. I shouldn't have gone to work yesterday. Okay, that's right. I shouldn't have gone. No debía haber ido. I shouldn't have gone to work yesterday. Very good. Thank you, Nady. What about number five? I was driving. The driver in front stopped suddenly and I drove into his car. It wasn't my fault. No fue culpa mía. It wasn't my fault. So what can you say? Volunteer, please. Sandra. Mm, the driver shouldn't have stopped suddenly. Correct. The driver, pongo en paréntesis in front of me porque no es necesario, the driver shouldn't have stopped suddenly. Oh, the driver in front of me shouldn't have stopped suddenly. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. And number six. I met a pretty girl at the party last night, but I didn't ask her telephone number. Hmm? Who can tell me? Rodrigo Daniel. I should have asked her telephone number. I should have asked her telephone number. Okay, that's right. I should have asked her telephone number. Good. Very good. Debía haberle pedido su número. No lo hice. Very good, everybody. 
That is great. We're going to continue now because we don't have much time. Now we have this, would have done. Se movió el título ahí. Permítame que lo arreglo. Okay, would have done. Take a look. The boy should have studied for the test. Look, in the history test, he got an F. An F is a terrible grade. That means fail. So the boy should have studied for the test. If he had studied for the test, si él hubiera estudiado, okay, if he had studied for the test, he wouldn't have failed the, the exam. He would have gotten a good grade. Él no habría aplazado el examen. Se habría sacado una buena nota. So we use would have done when we imagine something that didn't happen in the past. Okay. Ahora ya no se trata sobre decir lo que debimos haber hecho y lo que no debimos haber hecho, sino más bien lo que habría sucedido. Ahí ocupamos would have done. Examples. They helped us a lot. I don't know what we would have done without their help. No sé qué habríamos hecho sin su ayuda. It's a shame you didn't see the film. Es una lástima, right? It's a shame you didn't see the film. You would have liked it. Te habría gustado. Then, I didn't tell James what happened. He wouldn't have been pleased. Okay? No le dije a James lo que pasó. No habría estado contento. He wouldn't have been pleased. Si se fijan, es la misma estructura, solo que en vez de should, ahora ocupamos would para expresar un resultado. Esto es como el second conditional. Se parece al second conditional. Nada más que es en el pasado. Esto es lo que habría sucedido o lo que no habría sucedido si lo ocupamos en forma negativa. La estructura es la misma que con should have done. Nada más que en vez de should y shouldn't, va would and wouldn't. De ahí lo demás es lo mismo. Y sigue las mismas reglas. So what are we going to do? There is an exercise. Complete the sentences using would plus the following verbs in the correct form. En otras palabras, van a ocupar would have, okay, would have and a verb in past participle. Vamos a tratar de hacer esto un poquito más rápido. Veamos. You have the verb be, the verb be again, the verb fall, the verb enjoy, the verb do, and the verb stop. Okay. What about the first one? They helped us a lot. Vamos a hacer la primera de ejemplo. I don't know what we would have done without their help. No sé qué habríamos hecho. I don't know what we would have done without their help. So we use the verb do. We don't need it anymore. What about number two? It's a shame. Es una lástima, right? It's a shame you couldn't come to the party last night. Who wants to try? Who wants to try this one? Who wants to try uh, number two? You will have um, uh, been, been. I would. You would have been it. Been mm, it. No, it's a different verb. Second oh. opportunity. Segunda oportunidad. Veamos. Pero no es be. Es otro verbo. Se dice. Qué lástima que no pudiste ir a la fiesta anoche. Era que chiva estuvo. You would have. Enjoy. 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 That's right. You would have enjoyed it. That's correct. Thank you. Okay. You would have enjoyed it. Habría disfrutado. What about number three? I was in a hurry. Okay. I was in a hurry when I saw you. Otherwise, de otra forma. Okay. Si no hubiera andado todo apurado. Otherwise, I blah, blah, blah to talk. Nady. 
I would have stopped to check. To talk. That is correct. I was in a hurry when I saw you. Otherwise, I would have stopped to talk. Iba muy apurado cuando te vi. De no haber sido así, me habría detenido para hablar. Good. Very good. Thank you. What about number four? We took a taxi home last night, but we got stuck in traffic. Who wants to try this one? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Hello, teacher. Okay, who, who wants to try? Who wants to try? Okay, we have Sandra and then Rodrigo. Ladies first. So, Sandra, number four. Trataré. <laughs> <laughs> it would have uh, been quicker to walk. That is correct. Okay, it would have been quicker to walk. Habría sido más fácil, más rápido, perdón, caminar. It would have been quicker to walk. Very good. Very good. Um, Rodrigo, Daniel, do you have number five? Thank goodness little Timmy didn't see that horror movie yesterday. He would have been really scared. He would have been really scared. Se habría asustado mucho. Okay. He would have been really scared. Me recuerda cuando era niño, mi hermano vio la película Aliens. Yo no la vi, pero él sí la vio. No durmió toda la noche, pobrecito. Ok, he would have been really scared. En number six. The movie you missed last night was very boring. Uh -huh. Who wants to try? You would, you would have. Perish. F A L L. Okay, but what's the past participle of fall? Fall. It's fallen. Fallen. Mm -hmm. As Clegg will watch it. it. Okay. You would have fallen asleep while watching it. What is the meaning of. Oh, thank you, Maritza. Very good. Uh, what is the meaning of fall asleep? Do you know? This is a question for everybody. Fall asleep. What's the meaning of that? Sandra. Eh, como que hubiera quedado dormido. Mm -hmm. Dormirse. Okay. <laughs> fall asleep. That's right. Mm -hmm. You would have fallen asleep while watching it. It was very boring. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Uh, very good. Okay, so one final exercise. But before that, before we go into the final exercise, um, we have to check the, let me see, where is it? Oh my God, it's not open. Well, sorry, I need to open the platform right here. Just give me a second. Just opening the platform. Ok, tenemos que echarle un vistazo al, al examen final, solo para asegurarnos de que no haya ninguna duda o ninguna dificultad. Ok, just give me a moment. My computer is very slow. Ok, everybody. We have a listening section, okay? 
uh, listen to the conversations, choose, choose the correct answers. No le voy a mostrar la respuesta porque ya lo contesté yo, pero bueno. Okay, you just need to listen to uh, the conversations. Select the correct answer right there. Part two, complete the conversations. Okay, veamos esta parte. Vamos a, lo voy a abrir acá también porque ya lo contesté y si no le voy a enseñar todo lo que está ahí. Pero lo vamos a ir leyendo porque creo que todos lo tienen a la mano también. Just a moment. Ok, eh, sobre este ejercicio, ¿qué nos dice? Complete the conversations. Complete these conversations by choosing the correct, the best option. Tenemos, por ejemplo, number one, if a doctor, and then you have tell, in parenthesis, you, to get more exercise, which sport, blah, 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 choose. Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Acuérdese, esto es el Unreal Conditional que hemos estado estudiando. El Unreal Conditional tiene dos partes. Una es el If Clause, que es la condición, y el otro es el Main Clause, que es el resultado. Pero, tanto la condición como el resultado son hipotéticos, son imaginarios. Significa que no reflejan la realidad. Solo están en nuestra imaginación. No es lo que sucede realmente. Entonces tenemos acá, a ver quién nos ayuda resolviendo esta nada más para tomarla como ejemplo. If a doctor, who wants to try? Mm -hmm. If a doctor. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very good. If a doctor told you to get more exercise, which sport? Well. Mm -hmm. Which sport? Would you choose? Would you choose? That's correct. Thank you, Jessica. If a doctor told you to get more exercise, Which sport would you choose? Okay, si un doctor te dijera que hay que hacer más ejercicio, ¿qué deporte elegiría? Very good. So that's the thing. And it's a multiple choice exercise. So you just need to select the right answer. Solamente hay que elegir la respuesta correcta. Let's take a look at the next one. Write sentences. Vamos acá. Uy. Okay. Estos son los models que estábamos viendo. Este ya lo repasamos en una clase anterior, ¿verdad? Pero igual, vamos a verlo acá. Instructions. Rewrite the sentences. Use the correct form of the verbs. Remember capital letters and periods at the end. Aquí le están diciendo, acuérdese siempre, ¿verdad? Ocupar letra inicial mayúscula y punto final. Eh, porque si no le pone el punto, se lo va a tomar malo. Si no le pone mayúscula al principio, también se lo va a tomar malo. Entonces, mucho cuidado acá. Entonces, ¿qué hay que hacer? Turn out the lights before you leave. Have to. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esa? Ocupando have to. To express obligation or necessity. ¿Cómo nos queda? María Ayala. María Ayala. Tal vez tiene... Ay, tenía ah. el apagado esta cosa. No problem. Creo que you... Ay, entiendo. You have... My teacher. You have... You have... To... Mm -hmm. To turn on light, algo así. You no. have to... Uh -huh. You have to turn out the lights... The lights. Before you leave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así sería, de hecho. You have to turn out the lights before you leave. Very good. Ok, Ay. esa es la lógica de este ejercicio. Thank you, María. And finally, we have the reading. 
que, como vimos anteriormente, lo lamentamos, ¿verdad? Pero el archivo por algún motivo no existe. Así que, ¿qué podemos hacer? Ni modo. Aquí están las respuestas. En caso, ¿verdad? Que alguien lo haya perdido. Yo no tengo el archivo tampoco, así que no tengo idea cuál es el reading. Si lo tuviera, se los pasaría. Ocupando el Unreal Conditional. If I had it, I would give it to you. But I don't have it. So, estas son las respuestas. Number one, people communicate with one another using words and body language. Number two, body language includes postures, facial expressions, and gestures. Number three, a smile can show friendliness, interest, and sometimes politeness. And number four, someone who points a finger at you may be angry. That's it. Eso sería nada más, eh, digamos, una guía para resolver la prueba final. Y con eso termina, ¿no? Ok. Uh, we're going back to the exercises we were doing. Es día que teníamos uno más y es el que nos vamos a disponer a hacer ahora. Ok. What are you going to do? Pretty easy. Your turn. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Okay, we have right now 11 participants. So I'm going to form the breakout rooms again. Serían los mismos grupos. And I want you to work on this. Complete the conversations. The cashier gave me too much change. What should I? Y ahí está lo completa, ¿verdad? What should I? Ocupando los past models que hemos visto. Okay. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esa? Uh -huh. The cashier gave me too much change. El cajero o la cajera me dio demasiado cambio. ¿Qué debería haber hecho? What should I? Ok, Sandra. Mm, what should I? What should I have done? What should I have done? That is correct. Very good. And now you continue. Thank you, Sandra. I'm going to, uh, you're going to get into the breakout rooms now. Let's see. I'm going to move. Uh, me parece que ahorita Maritza está solita. Así que voy a mandarle a alguien acá. Quiero ver. Give me a moment. No. Move to room two. Okay, así estamos ahora. Okay, I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms. Please join the groups now. Uh, Diego Antonio, Diego Anthony, I'm sorry, I moved you to room two. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, hello, are we working together? Um, T-shirt, mm -hmm. aún no ha enviado la, 
Ah, ah, perdón, y ahorita acabo de entrar y se me olvidó mandarles. El... Ahorita les mando. Ahorita les explico, no hay problema. Permítanme. Se me olvidó ponerlo en WhatsApp. Okay, it's there. So number one, the cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Vamos a utilizar lo que hemos visto en esta clase, los past models, que sería should have o shouldn't have y el verbo en past participle, o would have or wouldn't have y el verbo en past participle. Eso sería. What should I have done? What about letter B? You should have said something. You should have said something. Okay, good. And? You shouldn't have taken the money. You shouldn't have taken the money. Very good. That's the idea. Okay. Now, uh, please continue with conversation two, three, and four. I'm going to go into a different room. See you later. See you later. See you later. Okay, everybody, please check the WhatsApp conversation. I sent you the exercise there. I don't so I do not like what the world you have done. It. What would you have done? Don't. Uh -huh, don't. Mm -hmm. What would you have done? I will have, what would you have done? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué habrías hecho tú? Lisa? What would you have done? Uh, I would have replied. Replied. Replied, replied, replied. No. Replied. Mm -hmm. To the person, it just takes a minute. It just a takes minute. a minute. Mm -hmm. Very uh -huh. good. Okay, good. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Say in past participle something. Todavía estamos en la uno. You should have say something. You should have said y, something. Say say something. Mm -hmm. En past participle. En past participle. Y, y you you shouldn't have taken the money. Correct. You shouldn't have taken the money. Very good. What about number two? I ignored an email from someone. I don't like. I ignored. Sorry. It's I ignored. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. Uh, what would you? What would you have done? What would you have what done? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I would have re reply reply to replied. the person. Reply to, to the person. It just takes a minute. It just takes a minute. Mm -hmm. Very uh -huh. good. Live. Okay, uh -huh. great. I'm going to visit okay. a different room now. See you later. See you later. I will have um 
I should have taken the call. Ah, no. Thou? It's number three B, right? Mm. Sí, sí, B. Mm -hmm. Which one? No, three B. La primera. Ah, la primera. Two B. Two B. Two B. Okay. I would have. I would have. No sé. I would Pero have, duda. ok, sería la, la B de la segunda, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, yes. I would have, luego tenemos yeah. reply, reply sí, es reply. contestar, es ah. un verbo regular, por lo tanto es replied. Reply. I would have replied to the person, it just takes a minute, yo le habría contestado mm. a la persona. Solo toma un minuto, Liz. Ah, reply. Oh. Reply. Con ID. Con ID. I, ID. Ah, gracias, gracias. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Hello, have you finished? Yes, we finished. Okay, what about number four? We left all our jobs at the campsite. 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 What would you have done? What would you have done? Uh huh. Done. I would have taken it, taken it with me and Thrown, thrown it away. Later. Later. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Okay. Everybody, I'm closing the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Okay, everybody, number one, the cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? Letter B, ¿Quién me ayuda? Vamos, ya, ya son las nueve, <laughs> terminemos el ejercicio y nos vamos a descansar. Uh -huh. Sai. Okay, Sandra. <laughs> You should have say, said something. You should have said something. Uh, you shouldn't take. You shouldn't have taken the money. You shouldn't have taken the money. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. Number two. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What would you have done? Okay. Two B. Who wants to read it? Reply. Mm -hmm. I will have a reply to the person. It just takes a minute. Good. Correct. I would have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Very good. Number three. I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should I have done? Uh -huh. Le voy a poner esta siempre porque todo es done, 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 ¿verdad? Muy fácil. Ok, letter B. Who wants to try? You shall have packet 
taken. Taken. Okay. Taken. Um, player. Okay. And the, the past participle of tell. Tell. What is it? Mm, no, it's different. Told. told. And told. told the person you will come back later. You should have taken the call and told the person you'd come back, you'd call back later. Good. And the last one. Thank you. Uh, number four. We left all our trash at the campsite. What would you have done? The last one, please. Thank you. I will have taken. Okay, I will have taken. In town. In me and town. Okay, I would have taken it with me and thrown it away later. Okay, that is correct. And with this, we finished. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Okay, esta es nuestra última clase. No sé si en el futuro tendré oportunidad y privilegio de volver a servirles. Ojalá que sí. Eh, pero por lo pronto ya terminamos acá. Terminó el curso y termina la clase. Eh, quiero agradecerles a todos, ¿verdad? Por su paciencia, por su dedicación, por su participación y por su desempeño en este nivel, ¿verdad? Eh, yo, por mi parte, lo he disfrutado mucho y espero que pues no haya sido tan aburrido para ustedes, ¿verdad? Sino que hayan aprendido, lo hayan disfrutado también. Thank you very much. And uh, Thank you. good night. Muchas gracias, teacher. Muchas gracias, teacher. A todo. ustedes. Good night. Good night. Good night.